हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय ईवीएस क्लास दिस इज शुमी रॉय फ्रॉम टेक्नो इंडिया ग्रुप पब्लिक स्कूल शिलीगुड़ी एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विद अवर चैप्टर एट कॉन्सिक्वेंसेस ऑफ ह्यूमन एक्टिविटीज फर्स्टली लेट अस डिस्कस व्हाट वी हैव डन इन अवर प्रीवियस क्लास इन अवर प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव लर्न दैट ग्रोथ इन ह्यूमन पॉपुलेशन हैज लेड टू इंक्रीज इन कंजम्पशन ऑफ वेरियस नेचुरल रिसोर्सेज the rate of consumption of resources has increased up to such extent that all the resources like land water minerals are under heavy stress we have discussed stress on land use we have discussed that how the pattern of using of land has been changed in recent times we have also discussed stress on water resources we have discussed man's water requirement and causes of degradation in water quality and wastage and at last we have discussed stress on energy and mineral resources under that we have discussed alternate sources of energy and energy from fossil fuels in our present lesson we are going to discuss stress on forest and stress on oceans and at last environmental degradation let us start with the stress on forest we know that forests are large living communities Besides providing shelter to tribals and varieties of living organism, they support the entire environment. They absorb carbon dioxide and pump huge amount of water into the atmosphere in the form of vapors, which causes rain. So, when vast area of forest are cleared, the rainfall decreases, making the local climate hotter and drier. The soil also becomes dry, hard, and less fertile. forests also provide food medicine and commercial products tree trap solar radiations they also improve the quality of soil under them and make it porous roots of tree check soil erosion by holding its particles by this we know that forests are very useful to us but due to the population growth which is increasing rapidly since last 150 years more men need more space to live more food to eat and more clothes to wear our villages and cities are becoming crowded forest has been cleared to extend agriculture and to establish industries this practice is called deforestation forest of the world has been destroyed basically for timber for building and for agriculture a total of 111910 hectares of forest were destroyed between 1987 to 1989 in india at present the rate of destruction of forest is 1.7 million hectares per year in terms of forest india is one of the poorest countries of the world as we have only 0.5% of world's forest now let us discuss the causes of stress on forest forest are facing heavy stress due to following reasons shifting or zone cultivation overgrazing by cattle developmental river valley projects and other projects consumption of wood and charcoal as fuel overutilization of wood as raw materials in industries illegal trade of wood and activities of terrorist now let us discuss these causes one by one first is shifting or zoom cultivation zoom cultivation is a practice of burning areas of forest for cultivation and agriculture by some forest tribes it is also called as shifting cultivation because the area of cultivation is changed after a certain period the idea behind this type of cultivation is enriching the soil with nutrient by mixing of ashes formed due to burning of forest of certain area this type of cultivation causes deforestation do forest fires and contributes to global warming by adding too much of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere zoom cultivation is practiced across the globe and principal areas losing their forests 
through it. Next cause is overgrazing by cattle. Overgrazing is a condition when cattle in a particular area graze so much of its vegetation that it cannot recover naturally. Goats and sheep graze in such a way that they pull out even roots of grasses. Thus, heavily grazed land becomes bare and it loses all its moisture gradually. Such a land is prone to heavy erosion, which causes falling and uprooting of tree of a forest land. Thus, overgrazing puts heavy stress on land and on the forest. Next is developmental river valley projects and other projects. Vast areas of forest are cleared for developmental river valley projects. Other projects like construction of road, railroads, etc. to causes cutting of trees in vast areas. Similarly, wood consumption and charcoal preparation by burning of fuel puts additional pressure on forest. Many small and big industries like sawmills, bulb and paper mills causes heavy burden on the extension of forest. Overutilization of wood as raw material in industries also cause a serious stress on forest. Large number of traders remain always busy in the illegal trade of valuable timber in many countries of the world. They destroy our forest for their monetary benefits but they forget that through such practice they put lives of so many human beings and other animals at permanent risk. Terrorism is a serious problem in the modern times. Terrorists hide themselves in forests and run their training camps there. They cut large number of trees and kill numerous animals. They use explosive in those areas. Use of explosive in forest not only causes forest fire, it kills large number of birds and other animals also. Next, let us discuss stress on ocean lives. Ocean forms the richest and most productive environment for numerous different types of organisms, including marine plants and animals. Sea weeds growing in ocean provide different types of food, materials and minerals. On the other hand, sea water is always rich in many types of mineral resources. But in spite of their valuable contribution in the development and prosperity of human beings, oceans have been put under heavy condition of serious stress. Following are the some of the remarkable human activities that are causing serious stress on oceans. The discharge of huge amount of sewage, garbage, agriculture waste, heavy metals, industrial waste that river collects from their areas and carry them to oceans pollute and intoxicate the marine water. Crude oil spread at sea levels causes death of various seabirds and marine animals. These oils are split due to leakage of oil tanker or through accidents. About 50,000 seabirds die every year due to oil spills on seawater. Beside birds, numerous other marine animals too die due to oil spills. The next is the discharge of hot water from power plants. It kills numerous marine organisms every year. Next is dumping of radioactive wastage into seawater causes death of marine animals and the destruction of the marine flora every year. Many marine animals try to escape and migrate from such polluted areas. Most of these animals lose their capacity of reproduction. At last, let us discuss environmental regression. The process of environment being damaged or made worse is called as environmental degradation. Since last few decades, both the physical and biological natural resources are under heavy stress due to human activities. 
at the current stage of population explosion aided by advances in science and technology the stress on both of these natural resources is reaching towards a dangerous situation the natural quality of air water and soil have seriously been degraded due to high degree of pollutions most of our forests have gone due to irresponsible activities of human beings the land has been degraded severely due to overgrazing deforestation monoculture use of fertilizers and other agrochemicals housing and construction large scale industrialization and thoughtful development and development activities Due to overuse and misuse of resources like fossil fuels have caused energy crisis and water crisis. Various biogeochemical cycle including water cycle at different places have badly been interrupted. And excessive use of fertilizers in agriculture is causing condition of atrophication in water bodies which is indicated by algal blooms. Even the underground water is heavily polluted and water table goes deeper during summer days leading to dryness of well. The excessive release of chlorofluorocarbons into atmosphere have depleted the ozone layer at certain points. Increase in various heat absorbing gases like carbon dioxide and methane is causing rise in the global temperature and is causing changes in climate. Gases like carbon dioxide, nitrogen oxide and sulfur dioxide are increasing in the atmosphere and they are causing acid rains. Excessive mining have depleted our mineral resources at one hand and degradation of land including habitat destruction on the other. Hunting and trades in the body part of animals are causing their extinctions. Many animals get caught in the nylon nets, thrown in water, or lost due to some reasons. Tourists leave plastic bags and other waste at beaches that are washed into sea concerned. Those plastic bags and wrappers cause seriously harmful effects on marine animals. Up to now, we have discussed that how our human activities are causing a serious stress on forest. We have seen that the forest has been disrupted for our use. We have seen the causes of stress on forest. We have also discussed the stress on ocean lives. And at last, we have discussed about environmental degradation. With this, we will end our class. Thank you all for joining the class.